I challenged myself to make $10,000 dropshipping completely from scratch. So one day I was watching YouTubers like Beheza make thousands of dollars dropshipping and the process honestly seemed pretty simple. I'll be going over how a dropshipping company that I started at 17 years old went from zero to $25,000 a month. You first find a trendy, cool, viral product on TikTok. You then go on Shopify to create a website. You order the sample product to your house. Once the product comes to your house, all you have to do is literally just make TikToks, post it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and then end up going viral, and then people just buy from your website. And there's already thousands of people already doing this method. I mean, there's so many dropshipping products you see nowadays on your TikTok for you page, from the backcracker, slushy cup, shower, case there is so many out there and honestly all it's gonna take is just that one viral TikTok to blow up and hopefully I can make ten thousand dollars go buy your mama a house obviously it's not gonna be that easy I'm starting pretty much from scratch so I have to build my way up from the ground up so first on the to-do list I had to find a product I got my laptop went on TikTok and I searched up hashtags like Amazon finds TikTok made me buy it hashtag products you need and obviously you can do this method on your phone I was just using my laptop and a lot of big youtubers will tell you that these hashtags can help you find fire products made me buy it and any other hashtags related to products you can find or product reviews oh yeah and don't forget when you're using this method make sure you're filtering through most liked and most recent because you don't want to find a product that's going viral two or three years ago you want to find something that's blowing up right now so you can just hop on the wave and just do the same thing they're doing now i've seen plenty of challenges on youtube of people trying drop shipping for either 24 hours 48 hours a week or even two months but the thing is the hardest part about these challenges and the hardest part about drop shipping is making sure you have a product that people actually like and people actually want to buy and it's even harder if you're completely a beginner that has no idea what type of product to even look for in my case i've been doing drop shipping for about two years now and i've been really able to find out if a product is either going to do good or if a product is just complete not worth it and to be able to find that out you just need to look at tiktoks look at products that a lot of people actually seem to be commenting on the easiest way for you to find out if a product is worth it check the comments and see if people actually want to buy it just because a TikTok has 10 million views that doesn't mean it's a good product you have to make sure that people are actually wanting to buy it and after about an hour of digging and researching through hashtags trying to find something on TikTok I came across a TikTok about a safety door lock so this safety door lock might seem like a piece of plastic and some metal and it's very very cheap and you can even get this product for like three or five dollars because it's literally just plastic but it can do a lot more than what it just looks like. And pretty much with this product, all you have to do is put it in any single door frame. It works with most doors. You just stick it, lock it up, and it pretty much prevents anyone from breaking into your house or your room or your hotel. And I feel like this product was going viral for a really good reason because a lot of people are unsafe with door locks nowadays. And you can carry this literally anywhere you go. It fits in a pocket, fits in a suitcase, literally fits in a backpack. And you can carry this either you go to an Airbnb, you're traveling, you're going to hotels. It's a really good product to have if you're very unsure on safety this is something that a lot of people would get especially if they're traveling and especially on TikTok, you can market it in a bunch of different ways and in my eyes there was three reasons why this safety door lock was going to do good in my opinion one it was a problem solving product i mean literally anyone can use this product if i'm going to go travel somewhere i'm gonna bring this bad boy with me and number two you got to realize TikTok is a bunch of young people so like maybe 14 to 20 year old and a lot of girls could actually use this product when they're traveling with their friends because obviously you know they don't want to get hit on by creeps or anyone that's gonna try to walk in and on them on their hotel so that's a really good marketing angle that we could use for this product and number three this thing is really cheap we can market up like three or four times the amount we get it from on aliexpress or zendrop and obviously i checked the comments on the door lock tiktok and a lot of people actually seem to want it but for this challenge i'm going to be marketing this door lock in a way that you guys will not be able to guess what do you mean by that so after I found the product, I went on Shopify.com, started my free trial, and I got to work on this website. Now, obviously, this product is just going to be for a challenge, so I'm not going to spend hours and hours or even days trying to make this website look perfect. And when you're even testing or starting a dropshipping store, you should not be spending too much time on your store. You just want to test to see if this product works. So I made everything very, very simple. I went on Canva to create a very simple logo, and then I went on Shopify, added the product from Zendrop, and then the theme I was using was they 
beautify and also refresh theme is also good if you don't have a budget for a theme. And the only money I ended up really using was $14 for the domain and probably like $10 for ordering the product to my house. So I don't care how broke you are in the comments or if you're trying to do drop shipping, if you don't have at least 30 bucks to work with when you're trying to start a drop shipping store, all you have to do is literally go mow a lawn or just try a little side hustle. $30 is literally all you need to start from scratch. But if you don't have a phone or a laptop, then it's probably best you don't start drop shipping. I'm just playing. But now it's actually time to start advertising for this door lock. I obviously went on Amazon, searched up safety door lock and ordered the product on Amazon so it could come in only in one or two days. And yes, all products you see on AliExpress, Alibaba, Zendrop, you can literally just search up the same exact thing on Amazon and you'll have the same product and it'll just come to you in literally like two days, especially if you do Prime. So while I was waiting for Jeff Bezos to send one of his minions with my package, I just created my TikTok account, I created my Instagram account, and I was ready to advertise as soon as the product came to my house. And so once the product arrived to my house, me and my roommate, who I also tried doing this challenge with, we got together and we brainstormed a bunch of different ideas on how and what type of TikToks we're gonna make. Me and him were talking for an hour on what type of TikToks we wanna make for this store, and we could have gone the traditional way of just saying how useful and safe the door lock is, but so we had a twist on what type of videos we were gonna make for our TikTok page. And we came up with a brilliant idea to reenact skits with this door lock and have a lot of dark humor in our videos because one thing about TikTok, you're not gonna get away with posting boring commercials or boring sponsorships about your product. You wanna have a lot of entertainment, a lot of controversy, a lot of funniness to your videos because that is why people are on TikTok in the first place. They're literally just scrolling mindlessly for hours and they just wanna be entertained. So that's what we gave them. From stepmom videos, from people breaking in, intruders, and just weird type of videos in general, I was sure that people were gonna start engaging and commenting on our videos as soon as I posted. And when you're trying to post funny or weird videos, you can't go too overboard or you could get restricted from TikTok. So the rule of thumb with drop shipping on TikTok is when you actually start advertising, you're supposed to recreate other viral videos of your product because with TikTok, if a video has already gone viral once, if you recreate it nine times out of 10, it's gonna go viral again. My strategy for the challenge, what I did was I literally was recreating like one TikTok every single day where I found of the door lock, you know, a normal video, maybe about safety or anything like that. But the two other videos were about stepmom content, you know, robbers breaking in and just like over the board content, original ideas that I knew that were gonna get a lot of views, a lot of engagement. And I was posting every single day because that's what TikTok is all about. You need to be consistent. You cannot miss any day's posting. After a few days of posting, I was starting to get some traction on my TikTok page. People did not know how to react to the type of content that we were posting. Because on one hand, this safety door lock was actually useful. You know, it helped people. It was safe. It helped people protect themselves in, you know, hotels and stuff like that. But the other hand, people were just confused on what the TikToks were about, why I was doing skits and just random comments. So it was like two and two kind of working together. Either people saw it from here on how good the product was or people just liked the video in general and then just wanted to buy the product because they saw it in the video. And while I was just laying down on my bed, just scrolling through TikTok, I started to get notifications of my TikTok account absolutely blowing up. The videos were starting to get millions of views and I had to repost these videos on Instagram Reels because if you guys didn't know, I had a store that did over $100,000 without using any money at all from just reposting my viral TikToks on Instagram Reels. And with this product, it was literally just a backcracker and all of my viral videos on TikTok, I would just go on a website called Snap Tick. I would remove the TikTok watermark and just repost everything on Instagram Reels. And I was blowing up on Instagram Reels. So I knew I had to do the same for this door lock and get money from TikTok and Instagram customers. So please don't sleep on Instagram Reels when you're trying to do drop shipping because it definitely helped me out. And after posting about a week or two, I was posting, you know, three TikToks a day. I was able to do about eight to $9,000 in sales from completely organic by my second week. And this might shock you guys, but the profit for that was almost six, $7,000 because since this product was so cheap and we weren't running any money on ads, it was pretty much all profit. But the biggest thing I noticed was I wasn't getting too many sales that I expected to get because most of the videos were literally just funny content. Like I knew that they would blow up, but I knew at the same time that people wouldn't just want to buy the product because they were just funny, entertaining videos. And I wasn't expecting that I would make like 30 or $40,000. Even if I got millions and millions of views, you have to have a balance 
balance of like entertaining videos and then actually showing how useful the product is. So in hindsight, what I would do is just show off more on what the product is and how the product works instead of just weird videos. So I was able to make well over $10,000. For how many views I got, I should have made a lot more with this product. That's why I didn't run it too long. But me and my roommate at the end of the day, we were able to cash out on like five to $7,000 profit each with a quick little store that we saw on TikTok. We made a website, we started advertising, started posting, and that's literally what TikTok dropshipping is. But then again, I see so many people try to do this because of how easy the process is. But the thing is guys, you just have to be creative. And I know it's easier for me to just say, oh, be creative. Most of you don't know how to make TikToks that are able to catch someone's attention. So the biggest tip I can give you is when someone's scrolling on your TikTok, make sure the first one to two seconds is something that's gonna make them stop scrolling. Whatever it is, you can, you can have something in the background of your video. And that's why I feel like being creative is definitely a really, really big thing when it comes to trying to go viral on TikTok because a lot of YouTubers can make it look easy because they've been doing it for so long. And that's what most YouTubers won't tell you because when you're a complete beginner trying to do TikTok dropshipping, you gotta realize that you don't even know what goes viral. You don't know what products to choose from. So I definitely feel you guys if you're completely starting from scratch. And my biggest tip would just be to test as many products as you possibly can. And the more you do this, the better you'll get at becoming a TikTok dropshipping expert. But all in all, this challenge was a success because this was like a pump and dump store that me and my friend wanted to just run up, try to find a product for a video. And that's pretty much how simple TikTok dropshipping is. You just have to put in the effort and start being consistent and actually testing products. So if you're broke and you want to try TikTok dropshipping, you have under $100, please try this method out for yourself. Let me know any issues you guys have in the comments with it. Subscribe for more valuable videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.